Welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Space Marine. In the, oops. In the last video, we, uh, we basically landed on the Forge World of, what's it called? Graia. Yeah, to Mandifactorum Ajakis. We linked up, we recently linked up with Brother Leandros. We are cap playing Captain Titus, Titus of the Ultramarines. We are on our way to reunite with the rest of our squad. Somewhere further up ahead. Sedona's picked up local Imperial Guard communications. They survived under the shadow of that gun. I want to know how. Effective command, effective command and control, that's what they're doing. Keep firing. No! Imperial Guardsmen, see how squishy they are compared to Space Marines? They just, these guys just, these guys just don't realize that there's a, that there's a two-man army behind them, do they? Hear the, hear, did you hear the angels of death comment? That's, that's how much, that's how much reverence regular humans have of the Imperial Guard. I mean, of the uh, Space Marines. It's like the sheer fact that two of them on a battlefield with like, a se with like a several, a handful of Imperial Guard soldiers will inspire such morale to make them fight and die. Is basically like, these guys, the Space Marines are basically considered like, like, Miracles if they show happen to show up. It also means that there's something bad about to happen in your local visit in, in, your, in your general vicinity <laughs> Mo Another thing about uh, the Imperial Guard. Okay. You you got it, Mr. Guardsman. Another thing about the Imperial Guard. Ah, mosquito. Well, at least you got the uh, the chance to see a Space Marine before you die. What was I going on about? I can't remember. That interrupted my train of thought. Captain, I'm in position at a broken monument near the guard lines. Right, we're on the way, Sidonis. Uh, ah, hello. <coughs> Ooh, I see, a, I, I see a weapon cache in the center of the battlefield. Yeah, I would like to. Orcs have got that gun well defended, no mistake. The typical orc behavior would be to dismantle or destroy the gun, and certainly not use it to keep our forces at bay. There's a strategy behind And the leader is no fool. Yep. This day is getting interesting. So, in line with what? Uh... The ever familiar chainsword. Mark 11 Hell's Teeth chainsword. Blah blah blah. The iconic Space Marine weapon. Around long before StarCraft or Gears of War or what, what have you. Oh yeah, that's what I was going on about about the Imperial Guard. Okay, I got a couple of I've got a couple of I've got a couple of uh, tra uh, trains of uh, talk to go on as I slaughter these. Slaughter these green skins with no mercy. Okay, first of all, Imperial Guard officers. Imperial Guard officers, usually, if you're in in the Imperial Guard and you occupy the the rank of somewhere like lieutenant or sergeant, you are some sort of qualified badass. Bang, bang, bang! Come on. And, it, and that usually in this universe, that usually entitles you to a bit more survivability than the regulars, the re your regular Imperial Guard trooper, which is. Their lifespan is somewhere within the, the lines of like 5 to 10 seconds as soon as they enter the battlefield. Where, whereas if you're an officer, you will survive for substantially longer. 
Like maybe like maybe like a, an hour or so or two hours or so enough to command your troops before like expending your life or giving your life like dying in the line of duty or like giving your life heroically in the line of battle to ensure your troops survive on. Ow! Jerk. Freaking green skins, really. Uh where did I come Oh yeah, we came from that way. Uh which way am I going? I can't remember. Ah, we're going this way. That's the last cannon. Target that squig. They say target the squig, and then the squig explodes, and the guardsmen die. Dang. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I could answer that radio, but I can't. Uh, which way am I going? Nope. No squigs are getting by me today. All right, let's con let, let's continue on to the front line and find this le lieutenant. Dead space marines. Dead. Oh yeah. A uh, 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 oh that. Ooh grenades. Okay, another thing that I was gonna talk about. It's about the orcs. These foul green skins that we're fighting right now. So the orcs. I don't know where they. I I haven't read up en on enough of the lore. But they are basically huge ass, huge ass aliens around the same size, roughly the same size as a space marine. They are less smart than they are, obviously. They are more horde-like than anything else. Com well, not as horde-like as the Prince of the Tyranids, but they are basically like like the barbar, like the dumb, the dumb, stupid barbarians of the of the Warhammer 40k series. Their 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 thing is uh, these huge ass charges or and. And uh, and uh, war parties called wargs or wags or however the hell you pronounce it. And uh, essentially, what that is is like a couple billion or so orcs will gather up in like ships and stuff and fly across the cosmos and basically wreck shit until they are all dead. Ammo, I need ammo. Yay, ammo. And this is and this is and this is probably the tail end of one such wag. Well, not tail end, more like. Like, like the head or something. I'm not entirely sure. Here, have a grenade. Here, have another one. But, but uh, as you can see, like, see from the ships and stuff like that, the orcs actually do have functional space and air travel, as well, uh, you know, as well as you know, tanks and robots and biomechanic and mechanical limbs and all that sort of shit. Oh, look, a knob. Oh, ow. Oh, come on. I wanted to pick up the grenade. I wanted to execute it, not pick up the grenades. No problem. Imperial Guard, we are Ultramarines. Open this door. Yep, so they did. Oh yeah, th that's what the tiny ones are called, Gretchens. The Gretchens are basically the, the extremely expendable orcs that step down from the regular green skins that you find around. That's the lieutenant. You can tell from the way she stands out from every other generic soldier. <laughs> That's probably the reason why. Damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault, and as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. That is why we are here. Leave the gun to us. Come with me then. I should warn you, my lords. We've got a slight orc problem down here. <laughs> slight is an understatement for the Imperial Guard. Not so much for the Space Marines, though. Ooh, a weapon ca a weapon cache. Genetic scan complete. 
a purity seal. Fury. Basically, fury is. See, fury is the the yeah the, the rage mode basically. I can. Only that our troops were sent to guard the Titan Invictus at Manufactura Ajakis. That was two weeks ago, and we've lost contact with them. Hmm. We need to reach that Titan. Your fastest route is across the rail bridge behind the gun complex. It leads directly to the western gate of the Manufactura. Get to the front line. Well, the, you know, the only way the only way we're getting to that Titan is Get past the gun. So. Stuck on bloody forge world, and not a single tech priest in sight. Tech priests. Something else I should bring up. It's uh, the tech priests and the uh, associate. Whoa! And the associated machines. That that machines, you know, the vehicles, ships. Oh, what's it? And like all the, the machinery and all the weapons that 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 the space marines and the imperial guard use are uh, manufactured and taken care of by the manufacturer. Uh, by the uh, uh, Adeptus Mechanicus, which are the uh, uh, the uh, the more technical aspect of the of the uh, Space Marines. Oops, I need to stun people to grab them. Stab, die. No, I want my health back. Ugh, die. Come here. Stab, 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 dead. Yeah, they're, uh, what's it? Ooh, a Sorvo Skull! Mine! <coughs> the Adeptus Mechanicers are basically the mechanics of the SP of the, uh, of the, uh, Imperium of Man. They're the ones that manufacture, uh, man they, 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 they manufacture and make all, pretty much all the, uh, and bless, as well as bless, pretty much all of the equipment that the Space Marines and the Imperial Guard use. Everything from the chainsaws here, to the armor, the, the gun I'm carrying, you know, the ships, the guns, the plane, planes, like the spaceships, the tanks, troop transports, everything. Everything. If like the biggest of the war mechs, like these, like 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 these, like the, everything from the everything from the, uh, the, the the titans all the way down to like the the tiny this tiny little this dinky little chainsaw that I'm using, or this dinky little bolt pistol that I'm using. Everything is made by the by the Adeptus Mechanicus, made and blessed with the help of their with the help of their so-called machine gods. Oh, that's most of them dead. Oh, that's a line. That's another line held. Oh! I get to control of this thing, actually. But first, I gotta get these guys off of me. Slashy, slashy, stabby, stabby, stabby. Die. Yep. You got it. Heavy bolters! Mounted guns! Oh look, another digger. Oh yep, and if I right click, I can rip them out and then just sort of take them with me. I keep forgetting that I keep forgetting that unlike most conventional sh shooters, the aim button in this is control, because you know, <coughs> excuse me, in this bulky armor, Space Marines can't crouch. And that's the gun gun. My health is low. No, it's above half. And I wouldn't worry about health so much, considering that I can just regain it by killing people. With special cinematic kill moves. Come here! Come here, you Gretchen bastards! <laughs> stalker bolter. Okay, so the stalker bolter. It's basic. It is ba It is basically the same pattern of bolter, except that it has a long range scope and a long barrel, so I can you know zoom in like a sniper rifle. This is essentially a sniper rifle. That's where the orcs breached the gun battery. We haven't been able to make it inside the wall. They just aren't enough.
New objective, enter the gun fortress, which is that huge hulking thing in the distance. We're heading back to the command post, Captain. Good luck. And we will accomplish this in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Ta -ta. I hope y'all cooperate so I can operate. You wanna reach the top, you gotta concentrate. First, something wasn't right, I couldn't put my finger on it till I put my foot on it and I stopped the hate. Put a stop to it, got to it.